Hello, my name is Charles Tindall. I'm a Master of Science candidate in the IWRM program. My topic is about oil field produced water management practices. We're going to start with a brief introduction of what produced water is. Next, we are going to look at current management practices. And then finally, there will be conclusion. Produced water is any water that is produced along with hydrocarbons. It is believed that prior to the generation of hydrocarbons, water was present in the reservoir in large quantities. Now, water volumes can also be improved by injection into formation for enhanced recovery methods like uh, water flooding and uh, steam flooding. Water from adjacent formations can also infiltrate into the production stream. Uh, produced water is the largest waste stream generated by the oil and gas industry in terms of volume. It is chemically complex and heterogeneous, which means that uh, its constituents can vary from well to well. And even for a single well, it can vary uh, significantly during its lifetime. It is brine and its salinity can be as high as 10 times that of the oceans. So that makes it complex to treat. In terms of volume, it is believed that over 100 billion barrels of water is produced per year by the petroleum industry and ratio of oil to gas is in the region of 7 to 1. Production of oil and gas is inversely proportional. More oil means less gas, and more oil means less water, and more water means less oil. As you can see from the graph over there, with uh, the blue being water production and the black uh, line being oil production. Generally, produced water constituents are very diverse. It could be, it could range from soluble or insoluble organic and inorganic compounds to bacteria, suspended or solid particles, clay, sand, silt, salts and sulfates. It contains heavy metals like chromium, lead, and miscellaneous naturally occurring radioactive materials like potassium, uranium, radium, etc. It is also complicated by produced chemicals, production chemicals. The main objective of uh, produced water management is to minimize production. So they employ mechanical blocking devices and water shut off chemicals to reduce the production of uh, water in a particular well. There are also instances where uh, special equipment is used to block the flow of water. So the water is uh, separated from the oil downhole and re-injected into the formation while the oil is pumped to the surface. However, it is not always possible to prevent the production of water. So water that reaches the surface is treated and can be used for steam flooding or water flooding for enhanced recovery method recovery or it can be treated and uh, injected into uh, aquifers for future use. Uh, sometimes produced water is also treated and disposed into rivers or in water stressed areas they can be used for agriculture, industry and others. In offshore operations in general produced water is treated on the seabed and the water is injected into the ocean. Final thoughts. We believe that large volumes of water is produced during oil and gas extraction and current produced water management technologies are focused on cost reduction and not sustainability. While the choice of produced water management method is site specific, industry and government can come together to find common grounds to develop policies that encourage recycling and reuse of oil filled water, especially in water stressed regions. 
and these are my references and thank you very much. I'll take your questions. Thank you.